Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is launch character? Let's run through our example. I'm gonna run over to this little pad right here, and my character gets launched. Simple as that. So let's look at the node itself. This is our node, and it's very simple. It's going to take in a character as our input, so that is important to note. It's not going to show up on our autocomplete if we have context sensitivity turned on because it has to come off of a character. In this case, I am grabbing my player character and telling him to launch. And the point of this node is to give it an impulse or a force when you're using a character. You can't use the normal things such as add impulse and add force and things like that to a character because the character is designed differently. It's got a capsule component that most of its interactions occur against. So the launch character node is here to give us the ability to launch the character or give it some velocity. Our first input node here is going to be our launch velocity itself. It's basically the velocity to impart to the character. In this case, I'm saying add 0 to the x, 0 to the y, and 500 to the z. That's why you'll see when I hit this, my character basically gets launched forward. Now, there's a couple things to note here. If I go slowly, you'll see I don't get near as much actual movement. By default, the launch velocity is additive. It's going to take your current velocity of the character and add this amount. If you want to instead set this amount, you use the overrides. So in this case, let's say I didn't want my character to be going forward anymore. I just wanted the character to go straight up. I can override my X and Y. So basically my X is now going to be zero and my Y is going to be zero. And then I don't want to add anything to my Z. I'm just going to override it. So it's going to become zero, zero, 500 is my new velocity when I hit this. And you'll see when I hit it, now my character just basically jumps up. Rather than going forward, and over it, he jumps up. Now, of course, I do have air control once I'm in the air, but it's much different this compared to this because we are no longer adding the velocity. And that's it. That's the basics of our node. It's useful if you need to give some sort of a velocity change to a player. A useful example of this might be to repel something or, like in this case, a launch pad. We could always grab our map and let's figure out where I put the box. Here we go. Let's go ahead and move this box up to around there and push it back. Let's go ahead and do, do, do something like that. And we could use some nodes to basically push it back, but we're just going to do something really simple and say on the X, we'll give it like 500. And we'll say that's your new one. We'll go in here, we'll touch it, and you'll notice it's trying to apply a force on the X. Now, because we're not normalizing anything, that's not the right value. If we do negative 1,000, you can see it's pushing it back now. Based on where my block is, that will determine where the force comes in. So you can see it's pushing it up a little bit. So that's one way to keep it in mind. I'd recommend if you were going to try to do launch character, for example, and you wanted to push the character away from something, you can use the get unit direction vector and that'll tell you the opposite direction you should push it in and apply that as a velocity. Well that's it. That is our launch character node. Takes in a character as an input, what we're going to apply our velocity to. The launch velocity is an additive, how much we're going to add to our current velocity. Unless you're using the override and you can override the x and the y together or the z and when you override instead of these being additive they are now a set. 